Hi guys, thanks for tuning in. In this video, I'm going to show you how to download the Wolfram Player so you can open Wolfram Mathematica notebooks on your computer. The first step is to go to wolfram.com slash player. Then you're going to scroll halfway down the page and you're going to see some download instructions. You can select Windows. You're going to have to put in your email address and then click Start Download. Um, by the way, if you have a Chromebook, you probably want to try downloading for Linux. I'm not sure if it's going to work or not, but it's worth a try. Now this initial download only takes a couple seconds because it's a 2 megabyte installer, but when you run the installer, that's going to download a full copy of the Wolfram Player, um, which is about a gigabyte in size. I believe what's happening is it's an entire Mathematica kernel, and it's just been modified so that you can't write new code or evaluate new code. You can only um, use code that's already been written for you. Now once you've installed that software, you could find any Wolfram notebook that you're interested in opening. For example, right here I have this Lesson 5 notebook about double integrals. You're going to go to Open With, and you're going to go to the Wolfram Player 12.1 that you've just installed. And this is going to open in basically a full copy of Mathematica. The only difference is you're not going to be able to modify the source code for the manipulates that I created for you. Um, it's going to take a couple seconds to load, but eventually this screen here we will show our full manipulate and you're going to be able to interact with these sliders just like you would if you had a full copy of Mathematica on your computer. So this is a great way for you guys to experiment with double integrals, try to imagine what this region looks like in three-dimensional space, um, and try to connect this um, graphical interpretation here with the double integrals that you guys are going to be computing on your triad problems and in your literacy sheets. Now, um, the first two examples, you'll have seen these already in my notes, because I generated some animated GIFs of these and put them into my, into my uh, slideshow notes. But what I thought you might find interesting is I also have the same exact uh, work for a non-rectangular region on the XY plane, and I think these look pretty cool. So here's a double integral that computes the volume of a region that is uh, a, a, between a parabola and this uh, region on the XY plane. And you'll notice that this region on the XY plane is non-rectangular, which is what's kind of cool about it. Now, if you kind of play with these little toggle switches here, you can get a really nice view of what this solid looks like in three-dimensional space. This is what we're computing the volume of um, in my second YouTube video. And you can see that as you drag the slider, we can compute this volume as a dx dy integral. So we can have our innermost integral um, moving dx across our region on the xy plane. Or if you prefer, we can do the same thing as a dy integral. So I hope you guys do choose to download the Wolfram Player and uh, play with this manipulate and try to get just some um, graphical understanding of the calculations that you're going to be doing in this chapter. So enjoy, have a great day, and thanks for watching.